You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts on strengthening the presumption of innocence in the EU. The presumption of innocence is guaranteed at all legal levels, and yet numerous breaches have reportedly occurred in the EU. In January 2016, the Parliament's plenary will vote a proposal by the Commission to address this problem. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Does this sound familiar? I bet it's not the first time you hear this warning in a film. Typical as they may be, these words cover essential legal rights of every individual. The right to remain silent, the right not to incriminate oneself and not to cooperate. And as MEPs have stressed, no one should be assumed to be guilty simply for exercising these rights. The presumption of innocence, which means the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty by a court, is guaranteed by international, EU and national laws as an essential element of the right to a fair trial. It is enshrined in the European Convention on Human Rights and the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights. And despite these legal safeguards, between 2007 and 2012, the European Court of Human Rights confirmed 26 violations of this right in EU member states. In November 2013, the Commission presented a package of measures to strengthen procedural rights for citizens in criminal proceedings. The package contained a proposal on the presumption of innocence and the right to be present at trial, another on safeguards for children and a third one on legal aid. To prevent anyone from being considered guilty before a court makes its final judgment, the Commission's proposal seeks to ensure that public authorities do not present suspects as if they were already convicted, for instance, when talking to the press. And whilst, as a principle, the burden of proof is placed on the prosecution, the Commission says it could be shifted to the accused, as long as certain safeguards are guaranteed. But what does this mean? Well, it means that while normally demonstrating that a person is guilty falls on the shoulders of the prosecution, in some cases it could be left to the accused to prove that he or she isn't guilty. So that is a substantial change. However, the Commission stresses that any reasonable doubt as to the guilt should always benefit the suspected person. So what does the Parliament have to say about this? Well, first of all, in a report adopted by the Libe Committee in March 2015, MEPs removed the clause allowing reversal of the burden of proof, stressing that this must always rest with the prosecution. The report also says that any evidence resulting from a violation of the right not to incriminate oneself, not to cooperate and to remain silent should be declared inadmissible and it prohibited compelling or forcing individuals to talk or answer questions. MEPs also inserted amendments to prevent statements by public authorities that might suggest the suspect is guilty before a final conviction and extended the scope of the directive, making it applicable not only to criminal proceedings, but also to similar proceedings of a criminal nature, and not only to individuals, but also to legal persons such as governments and organisations. The Commission's proposal will be voted in plenary next week. Until then... You have the right to remain silent. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.